Yeah, once welcome back again. Today in this session, I will show you how to maintain your company accounts in case you have any branches. That time, how to keep your accounts information in your Wix accounting software. Clear? Here I am creating a new company. Here I am saving in desktop the file name is RR Institute of Learning. Here I am giving the company's information. This is RR's in Institute of Learning. And the short name is RR's. Okay, here I am just un enabling or uh, disenabling the unnecessary features. You just click OK. Let's go to here masters. Let's create masters. Then create here. See the in master app is here. how many is there is accounts, budget, product, VAT. Here I chosen product. Here I'm creating, I'm going to create a product name is HP printers. And the parent group is all products click on create the now that we that has been created here the option accounts budget product and bad there are only five options is there in master type here i'm cho cho i chosen is account here i'm creating mr x we are purchasing uh web numbers from mr x is sunday credit card so this accept here i'm creating the one more excel ledger yeah, once I will enter the opening stock, just assume we have the 100 numbers of opening stock of every HP printers. Let's go to entry, inventory, opening stock, edit. Here, HP printers, 100 numbers, at the rate is 2500. <coughs> Total is 2,50,000. Just accept this, press Ctrl S or click on this save key. Yeah, or not but now that is saved here in inventory stock valuation weighted average here we can see the balances of our stock has come to down totally this come down here we can see the HP products we have 100 numbers nothing we produce extra nothing is sold extra so here the as well as as well as 100 numbers we have as closing stock just accept that one also and here in settings first in module management it is only related about the financial receivable and inventory it is not related to about branches so the branches option is not available in module management here the normal feature is, is available in module management okay to avail the feature of branches See first you need to go to settings, advanced settings. Here the first option is it branch. Now it is by default it's disabled. Okay, just click on just a click to enable the feature. See here I'm not saving this once. I will show you what is the difference between uh, with enabling without enabling. Here I'm not saving that. See here the markup is only three accounts, budget, product, when there are only four features is there. Here, once I'm going to here settings, just close this settings is advanced settings here i am enabling is branches just i'm i saved here now see the options is available is account branch the new option is there is branch so here we can we can choose master up as branch to create to create any new branches here i chosen branch here i'm creating is hyderabad branch all branches okay next here i'm creating is secunderabad branch all come under comes under as well as is all branches just create uh, yeah here i just created is two branches here i'm purchasing goods for first hyderabad branches for from mr x go to entry purchase purchases first we need to click on edit to activate the voucher see here the last option is there about branches is allocations now the new uh, new feature is came here Here choose Hyderabad. The product. 
the party name is mr x the quantity is 50 numbers at the rate the rate 3100 yeah just save this i, I already chosen is hyderabad as, as my branch i just saved that and i can click on edit Okay, I am just choosing here as next Sikhanabad. We are purchasing is 111 numbers at the rate 3100. Just save. And next, we to see to check the reports for branches. Go to inventory, stock balances, and here click on general. Then the next next to the general is choose here. Here we can choose our branches. Here I am choosing Hyderabad. We purchased 50 numbers for Hyderabad. See the report also will be is HP numbers is available is also 50 numbers nothing is also that is it's nothing is nothing is also it's empty go to entry stock inventory stock valuation here i am choosing now is a just okay here we have in 111 numbers see but here it is okay 111 but here it is not accepting the total value to check total go to inventory stock valuation select all Okay, click on OK. Now here we can see the total with open total the available in Hyderabad, available in Sikhinderabad and, and adding to opening balance also. Total we have 261 numbers of HP printed. Yeah, that's right. Now let us see it. Let us take an example for sales. Go to entry, sales, sales. First we need to click on edit. To change the date of when the entry is is occurring in our company and the party is a cash here the product name choose hp printers and the quantity is one quantity at the rate is four thousand and here to choose our branch click on allocations here we can see the branches option and choose from where we are selling here i am selling from hyderabad Hyderabad is quantity 1 at the rate 4000. Okay, just save that. Here, I'll, here we can write the narration, just save that. Yeah, now that was saved. Yeah, I'm, I'm choosing in Hyderabad. Before that, one C is inventory, stock balances. Actually, we have one, 50, one 50 numbers. In 50 numbers, we had we sold only one number, and the remaining is it would be is 49. Here as well as we received 50 numbers from Mr. X. We showed only one on sales and the remaining balance is 49. Next for the sales voucher from Sikhanabad. The product is HP printers. The quantity is 11 numbers. We purchased 111 numbers for Sikhanabad. Here we are selling 11 numbers at the rate 4000 and the allocation is Sikhanabad. Just save this. You know that's all to check the report for Sikhanabad. Go to inventory, stock balances, and here choose branch as Sikhanabad. Then click on OK. Now the report will be shown for Sikhanabad. Here we purchased. 111 we sold 11 numbers and the remaining is only 100 numbers 100 numbers of HP printers we have now and that's clear 111 number we purchased we sold 11 the remaining is 10 to enable a feature for branches just go to settings advanced settings the first one you use enable feature but here if you here we can create the unlimited branches as we choose with the choosing of master type as branch we can we can create the unlimited branches here
in the parent group is all branches like that we can we like that we can create the unlimited branches as well as for our company requirements see next i will show you entry inventory internal consumption it is only for when the goods is damaged when the goods is transferred from one one to another that time here entry inventory internal consumption i chosen here here the uh, hp printers is one quantity and the other is it like we can write any damage here i'm choosing a second number you see a second number here he is having and the remaining is 100 numbers but one of the stock is damaged so here i'm choosing one number just save here we can see the stock balances in branch in Sikindrabad. Actually, we have need to get is 100 numbers, but here one of the stock is damaged, so the remaining is 99. We purchased, if we purchased 111, we sold 11, and the one of the stock is damaged, and the remaining is 99. For more related videos, subscribe now. Thank you.